If you've been struggling as a trader, you need to ask yourself the following questions. Do you got a trade plan? If no, you need to build one. You wouldn't go into, or you wouldn't go to the bank and ask for some money to open a bar if you didn't have a trade plan or a business plan. Like anytime you do anything, you should have a plan. When you're trading, you are the CEO of your own small business. You are right now the man of your small business. You're trying to grow to a bigger business. So what needs to happen is you need a plan. The other things is are like, are you adapting to the market conditions? If what's working in the summer doesn't work in the fall, change. But you need to take and make adjustments. So like you, you should keep a trade journal. Like I keep trade, trade journals all the time. Like all my students, see this? I can see what all my students are doing. Oh, current ones. And like, so like you see like, okay, so Marina, I can see what she's doing. Mr. Pot, right, for example. All right, so like he's brand new. Like he just started trading like a couple, maybe a month ago, two months ago. So I can see like all the trades he's doing. So it's kind of fun. Like I can look at this and be like, okay, Joe, and he fucked this trade up, right? So like I can see what he's doing. So he bought it here and then notice how he just sold it like within like two seconds. Then he sold it again, right? So then I can, I add comments to my students trades and <laughs> right now we can like kind of get a little bit better. on. I think this kind of trade journaling is really important because not only for them, right? For me, look at this on Friday. Like this is nasty. So like Joe's new, so he shouldn't lose this much on one trip. So I can tell what he already did. He bought too many. Like why he's shorting here, that's a counter trend trade. And it's a disgusting trade anyways, right? So this is like something, you know, he's going to notice. So like he, right now, like he's going to get alert probably on his phone or something. He's like, oh, fuck, dad, dad's watching, right? But like, this is kind of the fun stuff that we can do. And I also track like all my shit. Like, you know, this is like something, you know, and the cool thing about like journaling and all this stuff is you're able to see what you do right, like what you do wrong. But the main thing is like the data, the data. The data tells you everything. So like if you go like say maybe 90 days, I've got, I can track this data. So like, okay, these are my trades for the last name days. First of all, I really fucked up this day. I blame my friend Omar um, on this day. He really, I think me and him were hanging out. <laughs> and then this day I broke some rules. And then, you know, lately though, I've been like really, I've been in tune. The other thing is, like, if you're looking, like, on your journaling, data is everything. What do you notice here? So if you see, like, performance, like, okay, I'm pretty good every day except really Thursday. Thursday is also my boat day, so usually I, you know, hop on my boat. Thursday, Tuesday are usually boat days. And then Saturday, of course. You don't think I got this epic tan for no reason. <laughs> right? So now... Performers by hour of day. Eight in the morning, make some money. Nine in the morning, make some good money. Ten in the morning, yeah, pretty good money. And then, do I even need to be around for these? The data tells me a story. I probably only should trade like about two hours a day, right? 
9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. That's what my dad is telling me. And then, you know, the dad will also tell you about performance by the year, you know, so on and so forth. But you have some hot months, slow months. But in general, like it's this data is what allows you to change your strategies. And one thing you'll notice with me is like I don't really, I don't have like some crazy high win rate. I win at 55%. Like it's not like I'm like some like genius. I see everything. I win 55%. Of the time, but I still do it. And in general, like I trade a hundred hundred thousand dollar account, so like it's not like I'm doing something that is like crazy that nobody could duplicate. But I'll have my big days, <laughs> and you can see here, like I, I have two outliers here. I think this is really what's kind of screwed up my trade. Both these days. So I try to keep my max loss on any given day at 5,000. Both these days, I let things, I let things go uh, a little bit longer. I let things turn into losses more than they needed to be. And, uh, you know, I was at home in Michigan and there's no excuse, but like sometimes when your routine is screwed up, like I was having – I was hanging out with my family stuff. I hadn't seen my family in like two years because of the Ronies. We were having fun. And I think my reward to risk, I was feeling myself too overconfident. I was too overconfident. And I ended up with like, right? I ended up with a couple of days that were really outside my risk parameters that uh, frankly, I just don't want. 